Hi, I'm Bernice Mukesh. I hope you're all doing well. In today's lesson, I'll be sharing more on how to teach letter sounds P and N. That is the letters P and N from group 1. I've spoken more about Jolly Phonics in the previous videos. The coming lessons will show you how to teach your students, kids, parents and teachers the letter sounds in a systematic way. So even before you start your lesson, make sure your kids have all the necessary pencils, colors, crayons, erasers and also the Jolly Phonics workbook with them. Every time you finish your lesson, help them to do the workbook and also write the new words they have just learned. If they are learning uh, to write newly, please do have a four-line notebook also with them. As a tutor, be ready with the flashcards, pictures, actions and songs ready. Your classroom should also have a whiteboard or a blackboard for you to write and show the letter formations. Additionally, you can have finger tracing alphabets and also sandpaper letters to help kids who find it hard to get the letter formations right. So before we begin the class, the first step is to revise the letter sounds previously learned. So the first step is revision. Revise the letter sounds S-A-T-I with actions. Shall we revise the letter sounds? So the first letter sound is Ah. 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 T. 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 E. E. Repeat as many times as you can. Show them the flashcards as well and ask them to repeat the sounds. Also, by now they will know some words. They will know two letter words. So what you have to do is ask them to take their four line notebooks and uh, write uh, that particular day's date on the right side top corner or in the left side uh, top corner and dictate the words that they have already learned. Maybe these words at and so these two words can be dictated and also the other word sat. So three words can be given for dictation. So once they have finished dictation, next it is story time. Let me tell you a story for the new letter sound that they are going to learn today. The new letter sound that they are going to learn today is the letter P. That is the letter sound P. So I'm going to tell a story now. A boy is having a birthday party. He opens his presents and plays some party games. Then he puffs out the candles on his cake. They are trick candles and keep relighting. Everyone tries to puff out the candles going p, 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 p. All right, so that's the story. After the story, that is uh, step two. Now we are going to move to step three, that is the action. Step three is actions. The action for the letter sound p is hold up your finger as if it is a candle and pretend to puff it out and say p, 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 p. All right. So you're going to show this action to your children and ask them to repeat it. So once they're going to hold their finger up like this, this will be imagined as a candle. So they think this finger is a candle and they're going to puff it out like this. Make it interesting and joyful. Have fun learning with your children. Okay, now this next step is, what is the next step? The next step is showing them the flashcard. They should know how the letter sound looks. So this is how the letter sound p looks. P, p, p. And the next one is letter formation. Show them the right letter formation. Standing line and a right curve. That is the letter sound p. p, p. And remember to make a uh, place a dot below also. Okay. After you show the flashcard and show the formation, now it's time for you to start blending using the letter sound p, p, p. There are so many words that you can blend with the letter sound p. The word sap. S, a, p, sap. So please have a flashcard made with all these words and uh, show them the flashcard and blend the words. First show them use a flashcard and blend the words. 
after you show and blend the words use arm blending arm blending is very important so you will place all the letter sounds on your arm and then you will show how you can put them together and bring about a single word s a p s a p s a p s a p p i t p i t p i t p i t p a t p a t p a Similarly, for all the words that I'm going to blend and show you now, without arm blending, you can do the arm blending. S i p sip. T i p tip. T a p tap. P i p pip. T a p s. Taps. Now we have four letter words also, four letter sounds. S p i t spit. For four letters, you can use your fingers. You can place each letter sound on each finger and blend them. S p i t spit. A t spit p a t s pats p a t s pats s p a t s pat. All right. So we can blend two letter words. Three letter words and four letter words using all the five letter sounds that you have learned. After we finish the blending, it's time for sounding. So for sounding, what do we do? We take four different pictures. All right, let me show you the pictures. The first picture is pie. The second one is parrot, pen, tiger. Now, after you show these pictures and read out the words for them, you have to ask this question. Which of these words does not contain the p sound? If they are able to identify the word that does not have the p sound, then they have learned the p sound well. Well, after finishing this, make sure you write down all these words on the board and ask them to write it down in their notebook. That is a very important step that you have to do. Now, to finish off this lesson, we will sing a nice, beautiful song that has the sound p. Let me sing the song for you. Puff out the candles on the pink, pink cake. P, 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 p. Puff out the candles on the pink, pink cake. Puff, puff, puff. One more time. Puff out the candles on the pink, pink cake. P, Puff out the candles on the pink pink cake. Puff, puff, puff. <laughs> All right. So now it's time for them to do the workbook. So this is the workbook. And before they do the coloring part, explain to them what they see in this particular picture. All right. So there is a honey bee here. There is a balloon, and there is a snake, and there are some candles. There is a rat here. Inky the mouse, and. Uh, there is a nice gift wrapped here, and also the cake is pink. You can ask questions like how many candles are there, and you can have a nice conversation with them using this picture. After you finish the conversation, ask them to take their pencils, write the date on top left corner here, and then do the coloring. Once they finish the coloring part on this page, you can ask them to practice writing the letter. See, they have this practice section here for your children to practice writing the letter. If your children are new to writing, they can use this page to practice it. After they practice it, then they can write the words in their notebook. That is their four-line notebooks. And that's how we complete a lesson for this one-letter sound. This is the next day now. 
The next day, you are going to teach them the last letter sound from group 1. That is the letter sound N. The name of the letter is N. So, but before we start the lesson, what do we do? We do the revision. Start the lesson by revising the sounds that they have previously learnt. They have learned five letter sounds, remember. So, let's do the revision. After you finish the revision, it's time for a story. But remember, while you're doing the revision, you can do the revision by sounding out the letter sound and also doing the action. Next, you can revise by showing them the flashcards. You know the flashcards or you can show them all the flashcards and ask them whether they, they are able to identify the letter sounds that they have just learned. So here's the story. A girl and her grandfather are fishing by a pond. Grandfather has a fishing rod and the girl has a fishing net. Suddenly, they hear a loud and nasty noise as a plane flies overhead. The girl runs around pretending she is a plane saying, mm. Okay, so step two is a story and step three is the action. But I have told you a very small story. You can build on this story. You can become dramatic. You can act out things. You can add words in it. You can add different uh, events in the story and get your child's attention. Get them to hear the story. Let them hear the story. And also, you know, uh, you know, wait for them to learn the letter sound that you're going to teach. So the letter sound is Mm. This is a nasal tone. Mm. Mm. It is not. Mm. It is. Mm. Okay. After you finish telling them the story and the action for the letter sound. Mm, now it's time for you to show them the flashcard. Okay. Show them the flashcard and tell them this is a letter sound. Mm, and this is how we have to write. Okay. First show them. This is. Mm. Mm. After this is done, the letter formation. Mm. 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 Okay, that is the letter formation for the letter sound. Mm. After the letter formation is done, it's time for us to blend words. There are plenty of words that you can blend with all the six letter sounds that they have learned so far. Okay, here is a list of all the words. You can make a note of it and but I will just uh, blend a few of them for you. A, N, N, E, N, N. Remember, arm blending, finger blending. All right. Till they know the blending well, use arm blending and finger blending. Once they know how to do the blending, once they uh, you know excel in the technique of blending, you don't have to do the arm blending and the finger blending. But for group one, it is very very important to do arm blending and finger blending. E, tin, e, p, nip, t, a, tan. E n pin a n t and n a p nap p a n pan s p a n span s p a n spin N A P snip S N A P snap P A N T pant S P A N S spins P A N T S pants a n s 
i s t insist. See how many words you can blend from just learning these six letter sounds. Well, after we finish the blending, now it's time for doing the sounding out. You have to take four pictures and read out the four pictures for them and ask them this question: Which of these words does not contain the in sound? Take four pictures. The pictures are nest, pie, net. Neck. Okay, read out these words for them and ask this question: Which of these words does not contain the in sound? Read out these words once, twice, or thrice, and help them to identify the word which does not have the sound that they have just learned. That is the letter sound n. Okay, if you are able to identify the word that does not have the sound n. All right, they have learned the sound n. After this is done, now it's time for them to write down all the words. You can write down all these words on the board and ask your children to copy these words in their notebook. Once they have done this, it's time for you to teach them the song so that they will remember the letter sound very well. Let me sing the song for you. Hear the aeroplane. N. Hear the aeroplane. N. Hear the aeroplane mm, making lots of noise. Hear the aeroplane. Mm, hear the aeroplane. Mm, hear the aeroplane mm, making lots of noise. After this is done, it's time for you to show them the workbook. Ask them to write the date on top left corner or the right corner of this page, and then. Explain to them whatever they see on this page. They see an aeroplane here. There is a house here, and there is a snake coiled up around this chimney. And then there is a rat sitting on top of the, uh, you know, roof, the rooftop. And there is a bat here, and there is a honey bee. So you explain to them whatever they see on this picture, and also you can read this out for them. Inky is woken up by a nasty noise. There is a model plane flying about, going, mm, and ask them where is Inky? Wow, Inky is sitting on the rooftop. All right. So after we do the explanation, you can ask them to do the coloring. They can beautifully color. This will really be a nice time for them. They'll enjoy doing the coloring, and also they will remember the letter sound in. Okay, so we are doing a lot of exercises for them to uh, remember the letter sound n, right? Okay, once they finish this, it's time for them to do the writing here. They can practice writing the letter n. This particular workbook has this nice page where they can practice writing n, and also there are some pictures like net, neck, nest. All these three pictures have the letter sound. In them, all right, and also you can practice writing the capital letter. N. If your children need more help, they can write in their four-line notebooks. Please help them to write in their four-line notebooks. Um, you know the letter sounds that they have just learned, and also the words that they have just learned. When you are writing the words on the board, make sure you place a dot below. And if you are going to show them flashcards, flashcards are must for words also. Make flashcards like these, or you can purchase them. See these flashcards? The word is written, and also the dots are below, so that they will know one dot is equal to one sound. Even if there are two letters, sometimes two letters would give you one sound. So remember, placing dots from the beginning is very very important. So here we have these flashcards: sat, at, sat, t, a. Tap, nip, nip, t, e, n, tin, s, e, t, sit, p, e, n, pin. Snap, snap, 
a n t a n a n t a n t p a t p a t See the number of words we can make out of these six letter sounds. That's the importance of learning jolly phonics. Your children will start blending words as early as four years of age. So make sure your children get thorough with all the first six letter sounds. Group one is very important. Do not go to group two without finishing all the six letter sounds, and also they should be able to blend them. It is very very important. So after they learn the first six letter sounds, make sure they recognize the first six letter sounds S A T I P N. These six sounds are introduced first as they can be used to form many simple three letter words. They should be able to blend these three letter words, and also they should be able to know that putting these sounds together make new words. The ability to blend sounds, that is, running the sounds together to make words, is basic to reading. It is a next stage after recognizing the letter sounds. So these two things are very important. After this, it is very important for them to hold a pencil correctly. The tripod grip, the right pencil hold is very important. If it is not done properly at the start, it is very difficult to correct later on. The pencil should be held in the tripod grip. This is the tripod grip between the thumb. And the first two fingers, thumb and first two fingers. You will need to demonstrate the correct hold on many occasions and keep on giving reminders. Because if you fail to do this in the initial stage, then it will be very difficult for you to correct them later on. Your children should also be able to hear the initial sound in a word. For example, if you read out the word snake, your child should be able to identify the sound. That is the initial sound in snake. While teaching uh, letter sounds for your children, Jolly Phonics letter sounds, uh, Jolly Phonics workbook is very useful. There are seven workbooks for each group. In each group, we have six letter sounds. Please get that uh, workbook and also help your children to do the workbook, which will really help them to remember the letter sounds very well. And also, it will be fun and interesting. If you have any queries or if you have any doubts, if you want any clarifications, please get in touch with me and leave in the comment section. Do please like, share, and press the bell icon for notifications. God bless you all. Have a great and wonderful day.